there! Today I want to do a backyard garden tour and I'm hoping it can give you some inspirations and ideas for your own garden. Let's go! As you can probably tell from my blog name, I'm a big fan of hydrangeas. So of course I dedicated a lot of flower bed areas for them. Most of them are nickel blue and end this summer, but I have planted some other species for variety. I place them in the most shady part of my garden because my backyard is pretty sunny. Next to the hydrangea bed is our outdoor dining area. We've planted some clematis and climbing rose, hoping that one day they will provide double shade for us to have a nice lunch there. I have a three-tier water fountain next to the dining space because I'm a big fan of water features. With the current quarantine situation, I have to work from home, so I just have it running most of the time while I work in the garden. Across from the water feature is a bird bath. Another water feature, we love watching birds come here for a drink or bath. I planted some flowers to complement those water features, while keeping the selection varied in terms of texture and shapes, such as pink cushion flowers, Felicia ethiopica, pansies and crispedia. Some of them bloom all year long, which is really nice. By the way, adding some small garden statues can be a fun idea to bring some whimsy to your garden. This is the lounge area, where we hang out the most, with the outdoor umbrella and the natural afternoon shade. This is a perfect spot to work or to have lunch. We have quite a few trees around here, such as lemon, persimmon, tangerine, Right next to the citrus trees, I planted a mock orange, which has the most amazing scent. It resembles orange blossom, but sweeter in my opinion. Another side of the backyard is more dedicated to fruit and vegetable production. I placed an arch to create a more defined entryway. I'm hoping that Eden Rose and Potato Vine will climb over it entirely one day. The potato vine is evergreen and ever-blooming in my region, so it adds a nice touch to my garden during the winter when a lot of my plants are dormant. Eden roses are so pretty and they bloom repeatedly throughout the summer with a nice scent. It's probably one of my favorite roses. And here are a few other roses from my mini rose garden. Speaking of the fruit production, our berries has been doing really well given this is their second year. We like to pick berries every few days during the summer for snacking. Besides berries, some baby fruits are forming in the early summer, such as tangerine, avocado, and passion fruit. My husband and I are big fan of tropical fruits, so we've planted cherimoya, figs, and star fruits. But so far, we're still waiting to see some of those trees bear their first fruit. For vegetables, I have built a raised bed cage to protect my vegetable from squirrels. It has been doing an amazing job at keeping the critters out. I have a video tutorial on how to build this cage, which I'll link below. By the way, if you are interested in some of the plants I've shared in this video, I will also have a list with their names in a post, which are also linked below. After we move into the house, we have removed all the previous lawn and replaced it with this water-wise ground cover called Kuropia. It saves a lot more water than a traditional lawn and it doesn't need to be mowed either. It also feeds the bees. And here's a short clip of the garden transformation over time. I hope you enjoy watching this garden tour and let me know if you have any questions. See you next time!